Hello, Douglas County citizens. Welcome to the 17th DCTV 23 weekly update show on COVID-19. That's right, 17 shows we've done, 17 weeks of this show to bring you the latest information on COVID-19 and how it impacts Douglas County. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. Due to evidence of community spread, the health department continues to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. According to the state of Georgia's latest report, as of July 30th, Douglas County has 2,172 confirmed cases, and sadly, 47 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones and the Board of Commissioners, we would like to extend our sincere condolences to the families who have been impacted by this. If you are experiencing symptoms and think you need to be tested, visit the Cobb and Douglas Public Health local testing site at Douglas Public Health Center on Selman Drive. This drive through site is free and open Monday through Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Also, as of July 30th, Cobb and Douglas Public Health have tested over 5,700 people. Remember, anyone can be tested regardless if they have symptoms or not. Visit cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral to make an appointment. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be tested. Douglas County received almost 20,000 masks from the state for citizens to pick up. These masks are free and available at government facilities, such as the Douglas County Courthouse, Boundary Waters Aquatic Center, our libraries, and the Transportation Center. Only Douglas County citizens will be able to receive masks and will be required to prove their residence via their driver's license or just verbally. A few weeks ago, Douglas County Commission Chairman, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, launched a new educational campaign to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. This campaign is providing mask recommendations for Douglas County residents to wear a mask or face covering while in public. You will notice visuals from this campaign on mailers, billboards, and signs around the county. A special public service announcement with members of our local governments began airing on multiple Comcast channels expressing the unified message. You can also find the PSA on our website at CelebrateDouglasCounty.com. Rick, I know a lot of people have been inquiring about our annual event September Saturdays. Do you have an update you would like to share? As a matter of fact, Lena, yes, I do. The Communications and Community Relations Department has decided to produce four virtual celebrations. Instead of celebrating in our traditional way on the courthouse grounds to mitigate the spread of COVID-19, these celebrations will air each Saturday in the month of September on DCTV 23. Each show will have a specific theme and consists of multiple interviews, music performances, and special guests. Throughout the month of August, we will provide more details about our annual event, where the focus will remain on community togetherness. We hope you'll join us and watch. On August 8th, from 10 a.m. to 12 noon, join District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III, District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen, and Vice Chairman Kelly Robinson for their back-to-school book bag giveaway at the Douglas County Courthouse. The event will be offering free school supplies, PPE supplies, and COVID-19 testing from the Cobb and Douglas Public Health. The testing is drive through by registration only. However, for the back-to-school giveaway, citizens can pop their trunk or walk up to receive their supplies. Douglas County citizens, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, Douglas County Happenings, Facebook page, and DCTV23 Facebook page. And while I have your attention, don't forget to complete the 2020 census. Thank you for watching. See you next week.